Welcome to the first tutorial in the Animate Rigging video series, Setting Your Pivots. These videos are applicable to both Animate and Animate Pro, but will all be done in the timeline. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set pivots for all the body parts, except for the elbows and knees, which were done in a previous tutorial. In this video, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks so that you can set your pivots quickly and easily. The first thing we need to do is select the pivot tool. You'll notice when I select a body part in the timeline that a pivot appears in the camera view. So as I mentioned before, I'm not going to set one for the forearm, but I will set one for the arm at the shoulder. So this one looks like it was set properly if we zoom in a bit at the right place. However, if we move down to the hand, you'll see that it's not where we would like it to be. We would like the hand to rotate from the wrist. So to make things easier because the, the wrist is covered by the sleeve, we can go to our menu here and select light table as well as show current drawing on top. So now we have access to seeing the wrist and the place where we would like to set the pivot. So if I click on that spot, the pivot gets moved there automatically. You can also click and drag the pivot around and place it where you would like. Then if you remember, we made extra hand positions for the three different views. So what happens while you're animating if the pivots aren't in an identical spot is that as you're performing a rotation, so say you're moving your hand from point A to point B, and then part way through you swap drawing so it goes from this position to say this position or this drawing to this drawing and the pivots aren't in an identical place you'll see a jerk in the animation so you really need the pivots to be in the exact same location on all your hand drawings so to do this you simply need to right click on the cell Select Copy Cells from Timeline or use the keyboard shortcut Command C for Mac or Control C for Windows. Then you can select the next drawing or a set of next drawings. So I'm going to select the next two. And then right click again and say Paste Special or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command B or I believe it's Shift Control B for Windows. Then in the Advanced tab, you need to select the option update drawing pivot and then you can click on OK or hit enter to validate your selection and as you can see the pivot jumped from being around here in the fist to the wrist and if you scroll back you'll see it's in exactly the same location for the three hand positions uh, we didn't do it for this one I assume since this was the same drawing as the first one it would be set but it was not so what you can do is select all of these right click again but this time instead of selecting paste special you can select paste special again and what the software is going to do is it's going to perform or repeat the same function that, that it did in the paste special prior so in the paste special prior we set the pivot and once again it set the pivot without you having to go through the dialog box so that's a quick way of um, using the paste special again which will do because all you're going to do for this entire video is copy and paste the pivot. But as you can see it jumped to the proper place on the wrist so now all of your pivots for this um, specific view, the front view, for this specific hand, the Karate Rabbit O2 hand are, are in an identical location. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the entire uh, timeline layer by layer, view by view and set all the pivots properly. I'll probably speed up the video for this but I'll slow down the video again if I run across anything that's unusual um, or different from what I already just showed you um, in terms of setting the pivots.
So for the body, I'm setting the pivot roughly where the navel of the character is, so where the belly button is. So that's where my center point would be for the body. And so far you may have been watching what I was doing. I don't know if I told you the shortcut for Pace Special again, but um, it's listed beside the menu item. So on Mac it's Option Command B. You'll have to check beside the menu option in Windows. Um, another question you may have um, had answered for you is that even though all the pivots for all the drawings of one view need to be identical between views they do not so you may have noticed that I've been setting the pivot differently for the profile view the three-quarter view and the front view Okay, so now I'm done setting all the pivots. Um, one of the other questions you might have, although I think it, it goes without saying, is that if you're not using the Karate Rabbit and you're using, you're trying to set pivots on your own character, well, where do you place the pivots? And I think it's pretty obvious that it goes from the place that you would hinge from. So if you're ro making a rotation, where would this foot hinge from? Well, that would be the ankle, right? Because you wouldn't rotate from the toe, you would rotate from the ankle. Also, uh, you may have noticed that I was doing some testing with the transform tool as opposed to the pivot tool. The pivot you set on the drawing, and it's the permanent pivot for um, that body part. When I'm using the transform tool, you use that to animate, and it actually takes the pivot that you set using this tool. Um, you can move the pivot temporarily using the transform tool when you're animating. However, as soon as you click off and click back on, it'll go back to the permanent pivot which was placed using the pivot tool. Um, you can always reset a pivot using the pivot tool, but I wouldn't recommend doing that once you've started animating because that's going to totally screw things up. Um, but like right now, before you've set any keyframes, if you suddenly realize you'd like to replace one of the pivots or move one of the drawings around, now would be the time to do that. 
So that's pretty much it for the tutorial setting your pivots. Stay tuned for the next tutorial creating patches.